To calculate the energy of the longest wavelength line, substitute the final value of n into the energy expression. And solve. Do the same for n initial. Then subtract the energy of the initial state from the energy of the final state to determine the energy of the transition. Finally, multiply by 6.022 times 10 to the 23 to convert into moles. Cancel the units to get your answer in joules per mole. And divide by 1000 to convert to kilojoules. This gives us our final answer of negative 16.0185 kilojoules per mole. Before moving on, check your work. Have you used the right units? Yes. Have you included the right number of significant figures? No. Since the constant we used in the energy expression has only three sig figs, our answer can only have three sig figs. Now we're done.